It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you've made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. Dude. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. How about I go find Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. Hit her. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Hell nah. Oh, come on. Dude, Bigby, really? You really thought you were going to hit her? That's the best you can do? Really? You're just gonna hide? Cheap little girl. <laughs> Quit hiding. Come out and fight like a Bloody Mary. the hell? This is not a good idea. I... Controller, dude, I'm doing it. No, no, this is not right. This is not right. I'm responding exactly how it says, and he's still getting hit. Is that like by default? There anymore. I'm pressing these and he's getting hit.
Dude, you are not getting out of this. <gasps> final. The final transformation. It's time. It's time to go, girls. It's time. Breathe fire. <gasps> I'm just kidding. <laughs> awesome. And I'll, and I'll blow y'all mamas down. <laughs> That's awesome. That was awesome. His eye out, dude. So what are you doing? Go look for the crooked man like that. <laughs> Go blow his house down. <gasps> Is he naked? There's always a change of clothes. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Does it? I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. You're gonna lie. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. <clears throat> Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. If I was gonna I kill you, I would have done it a long time ago, bro. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking Give for is a chance answers, to then. explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. 
And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. I'm doing this for Faith. Because she and Lily died. And someone is gonna answer for that! Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. But I want to know why. Georgie. Why did you tell him to kill them? Dead, why were they trying he? to run away from him? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? I do mind. Hey! Idiot. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. <coughs> Idiot. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. <laughs> At least it felt good to punch him. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I kind of promised Georgie that I was going to do something worse to him, but would that really solve anything? Not knowing what happened? Why? Like, ugh, it just doesn't make sense. I want to know why. I want to know what he has to say, even though it might be lies. And I really don't want to hear Snow White's bickering. And I, I, I know, know you killed him. I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Are you okay? Shut it's up. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. And after what happened with Mary... It's nothing. I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. You did well, yeah. Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes! What are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get These off? You think you have the right and to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook! This? Shut up. You should be fucking ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can Shut I up. have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I have a feeling I know feeling normally that we'd schedule a formal Snow's hearing, gonna do but something. considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such Shh. faulty information. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying you Georgie's the up. motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is it? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, He's Sheriff. Dead. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Dead. Shut up. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no that need That doesn't change anything. 
We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have Nobody to read the told rest of you the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Yeah, punk. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And for being a condescending prick. <laughs> now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second. Like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Shut up. Everyone shut just up. shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go so ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? <sighs> the crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where ground. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even no, that's when not the they point don't here. deserve it. I want to know what he wants to say. This isn't the reason. I want to know what he has to this say. This is ridiculous. So shut up, Snob. <laughs> you have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've Why'd you uncuff? Why did you uncuff him? I don't have to him? tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I don't trust I this guy. I hired him as a favor to his family. You see, a promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such a bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Shut Holy up. Holy, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. <sighs> they do it because they want to protect me. Slap them again. Because I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. What's he talking about? I really hope you're going somewhere with this. I see you want to cut right to the point. I can appreciate that. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. <laughs> yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Oh, yes, God. Yes, but... Wasn't I? 
Don't turn this on us. We didn't abandon anybody. That was crazy. Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her I saved her, hey. Coleman. She left everything she had. Oh my back god, in the he's turning house. them Everything against that us. Matters, anyway. With nowhere else to me, turn, man. she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I, I didn't get your tree, tree burned, girl, so you better not forget that. used her mm. magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed. But we didn't. Bigby refused. What? You better You better you remember were gonna that. Burn her tree? Don't try Snow. to manipulate us. Why Snow made a mistake. That? Snow isn't Is to that blame. true? Don't blame Snow. She had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Kind yeah, of. right. Except I for can't Gren. promise you perfection. <laughs> no one can. But I can promise to always oh. have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? We didn't get you into this situation. He did. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. That's right. Who's your friends now, yo? Hmm? Right. Very good. Very good. I the hate sentiment is caps. surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the Georgie murder. was working for you. Bigby got a confession. A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. Shut up, just, beauty. Of course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie killed Seriously? Sure Beauty, understand. you're gonna throw me under the bus you're now? You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? I didn't kill the moron. Apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? He was a suspect, and I needed answers. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. Yeah. Punk. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I've I been a good not guy. I order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. <sighs> Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. 
They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. Beast. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know. The laws apply when we need them. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean, reason a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded to them. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. <sighs> we lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? No, no, Help no. me. Who will pay your rent? We're your the only ones protection? that wanted to get justice for Faith and Lily. Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? I've been a good Who wolf. Be Bigby? Miss White? Oh, she could talk now. Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? How about you shut up, crooked man? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. Go for it. We're kind of in You don't the need to do this. Go ahead. Bluebeard. She has something to what? say. Go ahead. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. That's right. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <sighs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. That's right. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Yes, he did, actually. Did he? Yeah. Sure, if this is she how She wanted you, you all free. Be quiet. Vivian killed herself. He might here. as well have. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! Know you're... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room yeah. when he did it. Huh? Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say. And this just confirms it. The he Little made Mermaid do saves. It. it was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, no, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. No. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good no. Maybe there will she be has more if he isn't he stopped. Been I don't get it. So we get rid of him. To get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think This we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? Snow I hope you decide. aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? We should, we should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? <laughs> He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. That's right. He should be the judge. He's gonna burn. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. <laughs> That's right, okay. girl. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. All right, fine. Yes, Sheriff. 
Rip his head off. Right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. No. Get rid of him. Not this. <gasps> I was about to push it! There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. <laughs> but now, you're going to miss me. Not really. No, I won't. Bye. <laughs> Wee. For Lily and Faith. There. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. Shut up, Auntie Greenleaf. You would have let him go because you were on his side. He would have manipulated her and she'd be like, oh, oh, fine, I'll let you go. No, uh-uh. <laughs> the punk tried to kill me, this foe. <laughs> Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to the, the farm. <laughs> 